Hey, what's up, guys? Back for another tutorial. Here's another hole that we can go with an easy ball to get something along the lines of a cruiser here. See, I'm just kind of trying to test my span a little bit. So if this is where min is down here, right here, I'm just trying to kind of figure out where I'm going to be in the span of this. Maybe 27-ish rings. We're going to be maybe 10 rings from that. Um, we're just trying to, more than anything, measure distance. So if we're 10 out of 37, maybe a little bit. We're going to just try to utilize this back slope, land up here. Spin this down the hill. See, that's plenty of spin. As I was mentioning, H7, power zero, H9, power zero. We are going to be looking at spec five. And again, 10 rings, maybe for max, is going to be a little bit more than two thirds off. You know, one third, like. A little bit under that so I'm thinking somewhere around the lines of this and I might just under pull since we're moving off the green I'm thinking about even going even less than this maybe about six rings so six two it's kind of a feel thing you just kind of got to get used to that but you can see the surface that I'm pulling to is much lower than where the pin is which is going to cause it to kind of short land not only short land but it's also not going to want to so that's why i'm kind of you're seeing i'm putting it in the back of the shot circle kind of restore that elevation a little bit and there you can see it's coming back it's looking pretty good and just edging so you can see good opportunity there for you to get aggressive without having to worry about uh you know a power ball or anything be just a hair even more on the under adjust and keep in mind if we would have still been up at high ground where we pulled the ring still probably would have been able to use this 6-2 number but since we pulled down to lower that's where we start wanting to under pull because it changes the shot arc comes in lower keep that in mind good luck see you guys on the next one